You know how you spell Mitch? You know I love spelling. Hypocrite. H y p o c r i t e. Hypocrite. Yeah. Just wanted to put that out there. I had to make a little mini comment. And you just wait. I'll be doing an essay at some point about divisiveness. Because these white hairs all happened when he became my senator. All of them. I came down here from Patrick Leahy in Vermont, and I had black hair just a year ago. I, um, I'm going to need some, that, don't see you? some photo documentation of that kit. I mean, I, I'm not going to call you liar on a live stream, but I'm just going to need to see some photo documentation. No, seriously, though, it's driving me a little bit bonkers. Yeah, so that was intense. And so I'm just going to make us like have a little moment of celebration here. You know me. I love to party. I love to celebrate and I want to celebrate us. We're not quite completely where I want us to be. But if you remember correctly, about a month ago, we set out with a goal to reach out with mailings and a registration form to 5,000 potential new voters here in Kentucky. Um, we wanted to get 5,000 new voters because how many votes did Andy Bashir beat Matt Bevan by? 5,000. 5,000. So that was our goal. And we started this really just a maybe even a little bit under a month ago. Um, and I will say we are not completely there yet. However, um, the response to our call for volunteers was absolutely amazing. We got 61 volunteers from seven states as far away as Maryland helped us out. Uh, and so far at this point, um, my count is that we have sent letters to 4,564 potential new voters here in Kentucky. That's almost 5,000. However, by the time we're done, and this is going to be within a week, I can guarantee we will have over 5,500 letters sent. So that is 5,500 potential. And these aren't just things um, that are sent to, quote, current resident. These are addressed to a specific person like Kid O'Connor, Frankfort, Kentucky. So that's where we are. I, I actually really want to take a moment to celebrate us and give us some good news. Um, the outpouring of support for this has been amazing. And if we hadn't run out of time, energy, and resources, we could have sent more and more. So I've been you know, sending some of the volunteers in other directions at this point. However, we still do need some help. Some people are inter interested in making calls. We also got some phone numbers to accompany some of these addresses. So I am here to say if you're interested in making a follow up phone call to like, say, me, Kid O'Connor, hey, you may have gotten this in the mail. We're just, you know, you weren't registered to vote, whatever we word it. Um, look for it or something like that. If you're interested in making those particular phone calls, let us know, because there's nothing as good as the personal touch and the interpersonal contact. So that would be great. And we do have a couple, three people already working on that, but there's like 2000 people to call. Um, that's, you know, when you're taking a break from other activism. Then the other thing is, I just want to put this in your head. We'll be doing a get out the vote movement with some relational organizing coming up as we get even closer to the election really soon. So start thinking about how you might want to help get out the vote because you know what, it's great if you can vote, it's better if you actually do vote. So that's where I'm at. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you so much for that update, Kit. So we're so close. We're like painfully close to getting that 5,000 oh. uh, know, potential new voters. Okay, here's the truth. The truth is we have done it, but I don't count you until you've got them all done. But, you know, so many of the people who are doing 100 have done like I've done 75. So we're there, but we're not there. 